Hunters will travel the world in search of a trophy, leaving no stone unturned in order to bag the big one. Matt Reeb takes us to a rural Douglas County and introduces us to a man who might have made the biggest catch ever. Alan Dietrich makes his way into his workshop, a renaissance man in every way, an artist, collector, and hunter. He hunts fossils, a passion ignited when he was a kid on vacation in Wyoming. I bought a beautiful Green River fossil fish for five dollars. A small souvenir from a roadside stand and he was hooked. Dietrich studied sculpture in college when a professor made a comment that artists need to do what is around them. In other words, why paint a seascape in Kansas? That's when he saw fossils again. This is something that's 50 million years old and is so beautiful and so perfectly preserved. What an amazing thing. Fast forward a few years and the sculpture slash paleontologist spends his summers up north. This summer he was in Montana looking for Triceratops fossils. The leg bone of a Triceratops. And found and one, be one, of a the big one. World. Dietrich was working on a rib. Another person in the group found what he thought was another rib. That's when David Burnham from the University of Kansas said. He corrected me and said, no, that, that's a uh, tendon. Well, it was giant. That's what really threw me. They unearthed what is believed to be one of the biggest Triceratops fossils ever found, and that's not all. As the dig kept moving, more and more of the dinosaur was discovered. Dietrich brought some back home to clean over the winter. 10, 20 percent. And they haven't even reached the head and telltale horns yet. When all is said and done, this find will be the most complete Triceratops fossil found, making that $5 souvenir a great investment for science. Matt Reeb, 41 Action News.